Good morning. Um, of course, you Early cannot morning. see me right now because it is 5 a.m. Um, we are going on our hot air balloon. So, I'm super excited. We're headed into the house to grab some water um, before we go. And uh, our driver should be here to pick us up anytime. So, we're very excited. All right, so we just checked in and we got some pastries. That's a weird face. <laughs> um, and some coffee. And then we'll get on the road here in a minute. All right, so that's our balloon. It's getting blown up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, it is a process to get this thing blown up. But I think it's almost there. Ours has tulips and butterflies on it. Super pretty. And he says that whenever he tells us, we all have to pile in that basket. <laughs> they got him working. Gonna tip. No, I am so excited. I said I'm so excited. This is so amazing. That's crazy. Woo. It's it's warm in here. Yeah. We're getting ready to take on. Oh. Taken off. Gee, that was a that was a whole lot of work, you guys, just to get. Uh, <laughs> See the hot air balloon behind yep. us. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's so cool. There's another balloon. Oh, look at the the uh, shadows on the ground of our balloons. So different wind directions at different altitudes. I like the way you're going, change out to try and find something else down low. We're going that way, up high. Wow, you guys, look through this gap. There's a big lake on the other side, but if you look far enough, there should be a lot of fog. Don't ask huh. me why, but July and August are a fog. What do you think? Awesome. This is amazing. So look behind us, everybody. That's all over. That was all open land. Two years ago, almost. Every bit of it. Hmm. Yeah. So we are. That one down on the ground still having trouble, I guess. He just got his top put back in. Oh. And now they're starting to turn the fans back on. Yeah. I can't tell you how good a job you guys did helping move the basket, jumping in when I said jump in now. We got true professionals on this basket. What's that? We got true professionals on this basket. You guys want a job? <laughs> Here we go. Forward. 
little bit more. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh, that's quite awesome. That was impressive. Wow. That is impressive. Yes. That is oh. awesome. Woo! Wow. Wow. We just no. You know what? Do they listen? Extra forty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> listen, guys. You know what that is? That's the A-team. That's a good crew. Yeah. <laughs> we put the trailer right in front we of We just landed yeah. on yeah. the trailer. <laughs> that is crazy. That was totally <laughs> impressive. <laughs>came this morning to check in and we are going to have brunch and mimosas um, because of Dan and the other guys manual labor that they did this morning we get our in-flight photos included I guess so yeah so thank you for your manual labor pound baskets you're welcome <laughs> Thank you. Uh. All right, so we are cheers. just cheers. <laughs> we are just finishing up. We had our mimosas. Uh, Dan's just going with the straight champagne yeah, well, or sparkling wine. The I ratio suppose. of liquid to glass is higher in champagne if you don't dilute it with the orange juice. <laughs> Okay, that's true. Um, so we are kind of just wandering on the grounds. We just met some lovely people. Um, uh, another couple that was on our balloon with us. We sat with them at our breakfast and chatted all about Disney um, and jobs and everything else. And we are getting ready to wrap it up here. What time is it? 9.47. Oh, seems like it's a lot later than that because we have been up for many hours um but it is at almost 10 o'clock we are going to head back to the inn something tells me we'll be that early tonight so for sure um not probably going to make it long after dinner but um we're going to go back to the inn uh get cleaned up and head to I take a shower i know Thank you for that. Um, we're going to head to Stag's Leap for our, I think mm. we have a noon yep. appointment there. Um, mm. And then we have Opus One, which I'm like super excited for this afternoon. I cannot wait to do that one. Um, but before we go, I just want to show how beautiful this property is. <laughs> this is the Domain Shandon, which, you by the way, sparkling wine. Yeah, all right. So we just arrived at Stag's Leap Wine Cellars. Beautiful area. Look at those amazing mountains in the background. Uh, we have a noon tasting. We are a few minutes late. Um, hopefully that's not a problem here. After our epic morning, we went back and uh, took a shower. Well, I took a shower. Um, they made us some chocolate chip cookies, so they were nice and warm at the inn and got ready. And now we just drove here. Um, and then I think we're going to drive back into town and go walk down to Gott's and maybe get a burger and french fries for lunch. And then uh, we have a 3.30 Opus One, uh, which I'm super looking forward to that. So here we go.
Are we? Hey, what are your thoughts? It's very good. The um, Task 23, I actually like the SLB better. You do? Yeah. I kind of think I like this one better. But it's, it's really good. Yeah. $295 a bottle, it better be good. Though. That's good. <laughs> sure. Okay, so we decided to come to Gott's Roadside. Um, they have lots of burgers and french fries and salads, and they actually have like seafood and hot dogs, sandwiches, wine, beer, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's kind of a cool little area. It's right next door to the Oxbow. Um, Dan's gonna get us some food and I'm gonna find us a table. All right, so we are at Gott's Roadside and just got our um, onion rings, our garlic fries, and our California burger, which has a fried egg on it. Yeah, show me that, baby. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, we have our Pliny, what's it called? Pliny the Elder on tap. <laughs> good? Mm. Alright, don't eat it all before I get to it. No promises. <laughs> I better turn this off then. We have just arrived at Peju. We, uh, we've had this wine before and it's fabulous. So we kind of are excited to kind of try this out and taste. Um, we, let's see, are going to um, head over to uh, Opus One after this, so we don't have a ton of time. Uh, it's 2:45 right now, and we have reservations at Opus One at 3:30, which it is about a mile down the road. So we're actually just gonna walk. Uh, but this is beautiful grounds. Um, all right, so it is actually a little bit of a wait uh, for their tasting. I haven't quite heard of that before, but... Um, yeah, we walked up to the bar and she's like, did you check in? There's a wait. <laughs> no. Yeah, nope, didn't do that. So um, we won't be tasting here. So we don't have a ton of time, like I said. And so we are going to um, just walk around and take some pictures and kind of enjoy the grounds a little bit. So here we go. All right, so we walked the mile and a half or so from Peju down Highway 29 and are heading towards our 3.30 appointment to Opus 1. It's a lovely walk. In retrospect, it was longer than I was expecting. Yeah. A mile and a half here compared to a mile and a half at home feels different. I think it's just the fact that all of these speeding cars. That's true. Don't and feel there was so a dead safe. Recently, yeah. just closed the building um, for major renovations. Oh wow! We're doing everything inside. It looks like it. Yeah. So you'll it'll give you reason to come back. But temporarily, we have this beautiful room here where we can clear and be doing our tasting. Room. Okay. Awesome. The um, new tasting room is actually that stone building there on the end. So the same. <laughs> At first, Napa County was really resistant with all of the wineries expanding, and then they, I think they finally realized that it was much needed. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi. Good, how are you? I just set up right here in the middle. Okay. Thank you. So pretty. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, glass walls. Oh, so that's it's beautiful. completely overlooking this like, beautiful view. So like infinity wall, like you can open them or Yeah, yep. So they'll if they don't open, so they'll the, most of them will open. So they're big glass mm -hmm. um, one piece that'll they'll just rotate and they'll just be horizontally um, it's hard to explain. Oh, this is called an achoco. It's what you'll be drinking the sake out of. And you get to choose your achoco or the knights. This makes me so happy because <laughs> I saw this on a video and I'm really excited that I get to pick. Oh, well, this is one guy. Pick wisely. Right. I know, right? 
I think I like that one. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Easy. And a born here for you. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. June my Daiginjo, not against you. Um, so the best way to approach the entire menu is to share everything the whole way through. Okay. Uh, it's all like family share. Here yeah. we have <laughs> corn fritters. Yum. These are super good. So yummy. The sake's really good. Really good. All right, so next course okay, is Thank you. pork belly. It looks pretty tasty. You want your no, you want your pork belly? Yeah. Weird statement. Well, that looks good. That does look good. That's very good. Is it? Shrimp fried rice is a go. All right, so Mimanashi was delicious. Yeah, it was really good. Um, not gonna lie, I'm a, a little bit on the tipsy side. Um, so we took home half of our bottle of sake, and we'll have it at the resort later. And now we're going back to do a podcast.